Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this example question related to FTRU 2016 and concept is arithmetic progression. It's given that the sum of roots of a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 is equal to sum of the squares of the reciprocals. Then we have to pick one of the options which either 1 by a, 1 by b, 1 by c are in a, p, or a, b, c are in a, p, or a square, b square, c square are in a, p, or b by c, a by b, and c by a are in a, p. So first we will write down what's the meaning of a quadratic equation and what's the relation between the quotients and the roots. So we know that if ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 and we say the roots are alpha, comma, beta, then we know that alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. We also know that alpha beta is equal to c by a. This we have learned. Now, what is the condition given in this particular problem? The sum of the roots of the quadratic equation is equal to sum of squares of their reciprocals. That means alpha plus beta that's the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation. Sum of the roots of the quadratic equation is equal to equal to sum of the squares of the reciprocals. That means 1 by alpha square plus 1 by beta square. Now we know that alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. We have written it earlier. We know alpha beta equal to c by a. Now, but we don't know what is 1 by alpha square plus 1 by beta square. So let's try to convert this into known values. So can I write it as alpha plus beta is equal to alpha square plus beta square divided by alpha square beta square which is nothing but equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta divided by alpha square beta square. We'll go to the next step. We can write down alpha plus beta is equal to, I can separate them and I can write it as alpha plus beta divided by alpha beta whole square minus 2 by alpha beta. Now what's our alpha plus beta? Alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. And what is alpha plus beta by alpha beta? Minus b by a divided by c by a. This I have to square it now. Minus 2 divided by alpha beta is c by a. So we simplify, go to the next step will I have minus b by a is equal to a a cancels I can cancel a a there and I will have minus b by c if I square it I will have b square by c square minus 2 a divided by c now if you look at the options, from this we are sure that it's not going to be the first, second or third because we see b by a, c by a, a by b seems to be d. So how we can prove that? For that what we will do? We can take LCM of this, multiply with ac square throughout, I will have minus pc square is equal to a b square minus 2 a square c or can I write down 2 a square c is equal to a b square plus b c square. Now what we will do? We will divide the whole thing divide by ABC. We will have our last step which is equal to 
to a square c that is 2a by b is equal to a b square by a b c which is nothing but b divided by c plus b c square by a b c which is nothing but c divided by a I can write down one more step if you want. I can write down 2a square c divided by abc is equal to ab square divided by abc plus bc square divided by abc. Now when we simplify, this is what we are getting. Now this is in the form of 2b equal to a plus c which tells me that a comma b and C are in arithmetic progression. That means B by C, A by B and C by A are in arithmetic progression. That means our solution is D. D is the correct answer. This is the correct answer. So let's go through that again. We have been, it's a simple problem. We have been given a quadratic equation. The condition given is important. The condition says that sum of the roots of the quadratic equation, alpha plus beta, is equal to sum of squares of their reciprocal. So first we have to reciprocal them, then we have to square them, then we have to sum them up. We have to come exactly in the reverse. That is to be very noted. So sum of the squares of reciprocal. So first to reciprocal them 1 by alpha. Now square them 1 by alpha square. Now sum them up 1 by alpha square plus 1 by beta square. After this we don't know alpha square plus beta square so we have applied algebraic formula. We got that converted into alpha plus beta and alpha beta everything. Then we substituted the values alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a and alpha beta equal to c by a. So by solving we know that at the end, we get that b by c, a by b, and c by a are in arithmetic progression. So that's one more interesting question which I thought I will share with you from FTRE 2016. So thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.